Saudara mahasiswa, selamat berjumpa dalam program pendidikan Universitas Terbuka. Program ini akan membahas buku materi pokok speaking 3 dengan kode PBIS 4306 modul 12. Program ini merupakan pembahasan yang terakhir mengenai important language functions used in a symposium. Materi-materi yang akan dibahas antara lain Introducing yourself, introducing other, or the speaker. Asking for someone's opinion, giving your opinion, asking if someone agrees, agreeing and disagree, saying that partly agrees, and thanking. Nah, saudara mahasiswa, pembahasan pertama, introducing yourself, Introducing other or the speaker. Selamat menyaksikan. Pada suatu simposium atau juga kegiatan seminar, selalu dimulai dengan pembukaan yang dilakukan oleh ketua panitia simposium atau ketua seminar. Dalam pembukaan, ketua panitia simposium memperkenalkan diri sendiri dan penyaji. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Irsanti Widuri Asi. I'd like to introduce the speaker of this session, Ms. Rati Kusumastuti. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. First, let me introduce myself. My name is Irsanti Widuri Asi. Allow me to introduce the speaker of this session, Ms. Rati Kusumastuti. Saudara mahasiswa, demikian pembahasan mengenai introducing yourself, introducing other, or the speaker. Pembahasan berikut mengenai asking for someone's opinion, and giving your opinion. Setelah Ketua Panitia Simposium memperkenalkan diri sendiri, lalu penyaji menyampaikan presentasinya. Pada akhir presentasi, biasanya disediakan waktu untuk tanya jawab. Anda dapat menggunakan ungkapan-ungkapan untuk meminta pendapat pembicara atau seseorang. Do you have any opinion on children in the past? I mean, didn't the parents in the past protect the children properly? You said that parents today protect the children too much. Do you have any particular views on the parental protection toward the children in the past? Saudara, demikianlah pembahasan mengenai asking for someone's opinion. Pembahasan berikutnya mengenai giving your opinion. From a point of view, in the past, parents were not too much worried about their children because children usually obeyed the parents. Children in the past did not have many choices to entertain themselves. Well, to my mind, nowadays children may choose many varieties of toys available in stores. In big cities, children may also choose games from the computer, programs from television, or they may obtain entertainment from internet. That's why the parents of today should give close guidance to the children in order that they gain moral and cultural values from the entertainment they choose. Saudara mahasiswa, demikianlah pembahasan mengenai giving your opinion. Pembahasan berikut 
mengenai Asking If Someone Agrees. Would you agree that parents should provide close guidance to children today? Do you agree with the opinion that parents in the past did not worry too much to their children that parents today? Can I ask you if you agree that children in the past will only do whatever the parents told them to do and they will not do whatever the parents disallowed them? Saudara mahasiswa, demikianlah pembahasan mengenai Asking If Someone Agrees. Pembahasan berikutnya mengenai Agreeing and Disagreeing. I absolutely agree with the opinion that parents should provide close guidance to children today. I have exactly the same opinion as you that when parents do not give opportunity for children to socialize themselves, they will be neglected by their peers. I am not so sure, but I don't think the children in the past would only do whatever the parents taught them to do, and they would not do whatever the parents allowed them. I can't agree with the opinion that in the past parents were not too much worried about their children because the children usually obeyed the parents. Saudara mahasiswa, demikianlah pembahasan mengenai agreeing and disagreeing. Pembahasan berikutnya mengenai saying that partly agrees. I see your point, but you need some more clarification. I see what you mean, but you still need some observation. There is some truth in what you say. Still there are some disadvantages that you have not mentioned. I agree in principle, but you need to elaborate clearly. I take your point but you need to add some other points to complete it. Saudara mahasiswa, dalam suatu diskusi, Anda dapat melihat bagaimana peserta diskusi meminta penyaji atau peserta lain untuk mengulangi apa yang dikatakan. Pardon? I beg your pardon. I'm sorry, I didn't catch your points. I'm sorry, I didn't hear your explanation. What was the first or last word or sentence again, please? Could or would you repeat what you said? I'm sorry, but what did you say? I'm sorry. I didn't hear what you said. I'm sorry, I couldn't hear what you said. I'm sorry, would you mind repeating what you have just said, please? Saudara mahasiswa, dalam suatu diskusi, Anda juga dapat melihat bagaimana peserta diskusi atau moderator atau presenter menyimpulkan hasil diskusi atau menyimpulkan pendapat orang lain. Sekarang, Anda pelajari contoh-contohnya. The point I'm trying to make is that in the past, parents were not too much worried about their children because children in the past did not have many choices to entertain themselves. The only types of entertainment were toys, traditional games, and the beauty of nature. Sometimes they played in the open nature, in the yard, in the garden, or in the other areas available. Today, however, 
parents are fearful of many negative things that children may experience from the realities of life, such as restricted drugs or juvenile delinquencies. To sum up then, I would say that it is true that parents often protect the children too much for some certain reasons, the way the children entertain, the social relationship, and the education. Saudara mahasiswa, demikianlah contoh ungkapan-ungkapan yang digunakan dalam diskusi pada suatu simposium. Pembahasan berikutnya mengenai thanking. I should like to express my appreciation to the presenter, Ms. Rati Kusumastuti. We have listened to the excellent presentation and the conclusion. I should like to express my gratitude to the audience for attending this session. We have listened to the excellent presentation and the conclusion. On behalf of the Symposium Organizing Committee, let us thank Ms. Rati Kusumastuti. Saudara mahasiswa Universitas Terbuka, demikianlah program pendidikan yang membahas buku materi pokok mata kuliah Thinking 3, Tebis 4306, Modul 12. Semoga penjelasan melalui video ini membantu Anda dalam mempelajari mata kuliah ini. Selamat belajar, semoga sukses.